So we wrapped up uh, first week of deer season 2017 this week. We had a great time. All the Turk boys were in the woods with uh, Air Force Texans for the so the first time ever. It's been a air gun deer camp. It's been pretty awesome. So yep, I was packing up my gear to go home and uh, opened my trunk and I forgot I actually had gotten my one of my carbon fiber tanks uh, filled at my local scuba shop with 100% helium. I had been reading on the forums about uh, the potential performance increases of helium and I thought I'd give it a shot and I just didn't really want to risk it uh, going into the hunting season um, just because I'd never tested it before but heck since I was packing up and getting ready to go let's give it a shot and see and see what this helium can do. I mean I've heard reports that it could potentially increase foot pounds of energy by by a lot <laughs> and so uh, I wanted to see what it would do. So for this test we're going to be using the 174 grain High Arc Hunter Raptors. And again, this is out of the 357 Air Force Texan. Got the shot all set up, got my uh, chronograph all set up, and uh, let's see what it can do. So typically these bullets are flying about 880 to 890 feet per second on regular compressed high pressure air. My goal is I'd like to get these flying around a thousand feet per second, but we'll see what this does. Oh! Okay, that definitely did it. That's over a thousand feet per second. That's over 1,100 feet per second. That is definitely, that's getting close to breaking the sound barrier. It may, it may have, because that was a lot louder than normal. Man, I should have used this to deer hunt with, holy cow. <laughs> All right, I'm not sure what the foot pounds of energy is. I'll have to calculate that later, but uh, these 174 grain bullets flying out over 1,100 feet per second. I mean, man, I should have been using this. This, I think this is going to become my new deer hunting air, helium. <laughs> wow, okay, that's impressive. So... I'd call that test a success. The Texan seems to uh, handle it just as long as you're keeping it below 3,000 PSI, which the gun is rated for. Man, as far as feet per second and velocity, and whew, man, this thing is screaming. All right, well, thanks for joining me and uh, wish me luck.